Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Battletech. So last time we attempted to go to Goldra and rescue Lord Madeira and sadly things did not go well and he is now in uh, Victoria Espinosa's clutches. Not a good situation for him, but we did get the data that we needed. Uh, so at least all is not lost and that is on the way to uh, the Torians. And since we're about to be best pals, I guess, or at least perhaps not a war, I thought, why don't we have a little fun? We've explored, uh, like, this corner of the galaxy. We can't really do this corner because we don't have access to, uh, to these lands. But we can fly through Torian space for one reason or another. We also can't go through, uh, Federated Sun space. But what about Hellespont? It's about its location far from the Inner Sphere, Hellespont is a rich, high-tech manufacturing world, the headquarters of Comstar Explorer Corps. Uh, Rimward is located on the planet, and the infrastructure ne necessary for Comstar's operations has led to prosperity and investment. It's 44 days away, which is uh, quite far, and we aren't going to be able to get any upgrades on the way, because we're going to have to spend uh, a bit too much money on uh, resources and, like, flying and paychecks and all that stuff. Um, you know, so be it. But I thought it'd be cool to go explore this little corner of the map, since uh, we're getting sort of toward the end. So why don't we uh, get going? Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. All right, this is gonna take a while, I think. Probably get a couple events on the way. We're only gonna have one payday though uh, before we get there, I think. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Ah, uh, let's see. Of course, yeah. Yep. That's just our our mechs. Uh, well, we are working on Med Bay Three, so I guess all is not lost there. Uh, another pickup game thing. Let's see. Is working out of a machine in uh, the Argo's gym. A small group of mech warriors clears equipment out of the way and starts setting up a makeshift basketball court. A ventilation seal ring apparently makes a fine hoop. Mockingbird and Big Sly approach you. Or are you going to play this time, Commander? Two on two, you could be with Screw Loose. The other mech warriors cheer enthusiastically. Screw Loose has been a busy boy. Push myself to win and play a friendly game or decline. Uh, we'll play a friendly game. Your team loses the toss, which turns out to be an accurate omen for the rest of the game. In the final play, you try to pass the screw loose, but Mockingbird intercepts the ball, dishes the big sly under the hoop, who easily lays it up. After politely shaking hands, Mockingbird turns to the crowd. Looks like I'm better than the commander. Screw loose groans. Yeah, yeah. If only you moved half as gracefully in a mech. The mech warriors continue hassling each other on the way to the showers. So big sly and Mockingbird get high spirits. Fair enough. I guess I don't get high spirits because uh, I lost. Oh well. Sorry, screw loose. <laughs> Maybe next time. Uh, I think... Yeah, that's not even going to matter. <laughs> it's going to take us too long to get to where we need to go. I did sell some more of our crap before uh, we left. And I did buy a couple of things. Like I bought the, uh, the R mod, I think it was. I bought like a PPC. And that com... Uh, station thing, whatever it is, com mod for uh, for the uh, the mech cockpits, that blah blah cockpits. <laughs> um, so we'll it's not not as good as the other one we found, but we'll still get I think another plus one morale out of that, assuming they stack. I don't actually don't really know how it works. Um, so that's good. More call shots and all that is always nice to have. Hey boss. We've just completed those upgrades. Okay, so, yeah, unfortunately, we uh, we're not gonna be able to afford the next uh, uh, the next med bay upgrade, which is gonna be our final upgrade, I think. Two point seven million, but we'll try to make sure we have enough money before we leave, uh, such that we can uh, we can actually do that. Um, so in the meantime, we will just continue on our way. And yeah, it looks like we're gonna we're gonna have one financial report, and then we're gonna have a couple days left over by the time we actually make it there uh, to pick up some missions and good stuff like that. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. All right, we'll just stick with this for now and continue. So we still have enough for two more financial reports as it is right now. So uh, I think we're. we're we're probably feeling pretty safe, I would say, right at the moment, about our financial situation. Uh, which is nice, because that is not often the case.
But I am curious if there's anything cool hidden down there. I mean, there's a Comstar headquarters of some kind, I guess. So, uh, maybe they... Uh, I guess Comstar kind of likes to keep lost tech out of the hands of the general public. And uh, shifty mercenaries such as ourselves. So, uh, they might have snatched up all the, all the good stuff that was there. Uh, but I guess we'll see. Okay, two weeks left. I guess one or two more jumps ahead of us here. Yeah, we're going to Mistress now. And... Is this the one? No, we are jumping to Alat. There goes our our high spirits, oh well. Hey, we're jumping to the hell spawn now, at long last. It is a five skull territory. So we should be able to find something pretty uh, suitably challenging there, I would expect. Yeah, 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 we're fine. Totally fine. Oh, we actually did spend a fair bit of m more money than I thought. Uh, I guess we don't have enough for two. I guess we have enough for one. I wonder if that's because of the fuel costs. The, you don't get charged immediately for fuel. It uh, kind of adds up as you do the jumps. That seems plausible. All right, visit the store. Well, hooray, I can buy a Locust 1V here, just what I've always wanted. All right, AC 10 plus plus, an AC 20 plus, LRM 15 plus, that's not bad, and neither is that LRM 20, or that LRM 5. Oh, they have a comm system here, too. I'll buy that. New equipment available. And, uh, I guess I'll buy the gyro just to have another one. New equipment available. You never know. You never know when you're going to want one. Sadly, not really anything else here that's all that good. So, um, I guess we will have to, uh, just drop a save and look at our contract situation. All right. <laughs> Got uh, some options. We would like to do five skulls, five skulls, or five skulls. Let's see. Hard target. Two hard targets and a steal the prototype. So basically, two assassination missions or capture base. Um. Well, this one pays better. So I guess we'll go with this one. <laughs> it's in the low lands instead of the bad lands. I think that means that the heat won't be quite as bad. Uh, an elite mech warrior has been deployed to take command of power forces in this system. We need a skilled mercenary force to remove this mech warrior before they reach their command. Uh, while they're only lightly escorted, every down mech will help our cause. So there will be a bonus for complete destruction of the target supporting forces. Additionally, the mech warrior's uh, command may send out an escort unit to meet them. Expect enemy reinforcements once you engage. Power mech warrior is headed to a major military combat in, uh, on Hellespont. Will they'll take command of a company-sized mech force and become untouchable. They're en route to the encampment, but until they arrive, they're vulnerable. Very well. Got a decent chance at a, uh, a good mech here, so we'll go with uh, something like this. Except. And let's just flip these around like so. And uh, let's see. We could bring the Zeus out on this one. We wanted to get real crazy if I can find the damn thing. What's that going to give us? That'll give us uh, five uh, thingies of drop tonnage. The reason the Zeus is interesting is because it's got a uh, this AC-20 on it. Which does 120 damage. Or we could bring the Banshee. Which is also kind of fun. I think we'll try the Zeus, though, 
and uh, we'll put you in that like so and uh, I suppose well I think we'll switch you guys like that but um yeah I think uh, we'll deploy with this all right let us begin command interface initiated Commander Intel says the target and their escorts will be moving through this area. Orbital Recon shows a group of military units in the vicinity. We believe that's the objective. Take them out and head for the evac zone. What are those? Trees? <laughs> trees. Stupid trees. Uh... Well... I feel like reinforcements probably going to be coming from, uh... The left over here, I mean, we can even see. Actually, it shows us where the reinforcements are. I take it back. <laughs> and so he's back there. Alrighty, well. I think maybe. We might want to try to. Yeah, we're not really going to be able to sneak around very well, I don't think. Being in this water could give us a little bit of, of, a, of an advantage. as we sort of uh, move up here. Don't know as if there's really any better way for us to do this, other than uh, go straight in in this particular case. The only other thing I can think of is if we go over here. But I think our sensor range is still going to pick up the enemy because they're just too tightly grouped. Coordinates received. So we'll see what happens. Keep your eyes peeled, Commander. This looks like an ideal place for an ambush. Oh, you don't say. Might be able to do if I go like <laughs> way, way around this way, but eventually he's gonna run away. Coordinates received. Which uh we can't have. Commander. On it. All right. I'm there. Finally got some contacts. Let's see. Okay, he's got um, he's got some rather sizable friends. Uh, why don't we uh go ahead and uh, jump my pretty little Can self. Right up front here and uh, brace. Get an 80 ton mech. Yeah. We are in for quite the little Picked engagement, it would seem. Picked up a blip. Where's that other blip? What do we got? That's a banshee. Okay. So let's cross our fingers for many headshots. That is a lot of uh, that's a lot of mechs over there. A lot of mechs. It's like five, six mechs? 80 tons, 80 tons. I hear ya. Uh, okay, this is, uh, this is looking real bad. <laughs> if I'm being real with ya. Okay, a little breaching shot, that's fine. That's all you got. Waiting for orders. Alright, no no attacks from us this turn. They got a sensor lock on me. Really need the Yeah, these guys to kind of get their butts moving a little bit here. Send me a real mech warrior. Yeah. 
Is that another Banshee back there? That might be. Do they think they can hurt me? All right, one moment. All right, apologies for the interruption. Let's, uh... Let's, let's see what we want to do here. I, I don't even know, man. We might have to run away from this one. Well, I'm gonna... Start working on this Banshee, I guess. All weapons committed. Didn't get the headshot, which is, uh... Quite disappointing. Is he here with them, or is he still back there? He might still be back there. Oh my god. What do you need? All right, you don't have bulwark. So reserve. Reserving action. A victor, huh? Commander. All right, now you do have bulwark. Really, really, really need to stay in cover here as best we can. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think we're probably going to run away from this one before we lose something important. <laughs> but, uh... Engaging jump, Jeff. I am at least going to try to kill one guy. Before, uh... We get out of here. Acknowledged. Probably shouldn't have even bothered with that guy, but uh, what are you going to do? All right. Uh, unfortunately, I can't continue to reserve here, so I'm going to have to... Uh, Gonna have to actually start shooting these guys with something. Taking the high road. So we'll put you there. And uh, let's go after you with uh, all this. Got it. Would be kind of cool to uh, take out that 100 ton mech, whatever it is. Maybe we can get some salvage out of it. One way or another. In the meantime, uh, you need to actually get closer. Engaging jump jet. Should have brought a bigger mech. <laughs> a much bigger mech. Targeting for an alpha strike. Oh my god, don't miss with those shots though. Good lord, lady. Now's not the time. Oh, that's an atlas, is it? That's cool. Reporting serious armor loss. Ah, another Highlander. I've been sensor locked. I just don't know if we can. I don't know if we can get around to the back or not. Minimal. What do you need? Like, what if we could move you like this and then uh, keep? Oh, uh, well, you can't attack the Banshee, but you could attack this guy. Roger. For all the good that did us. Is that another different model of uh, Highlander? I don't know. I'm under heavy fire. Really don't want her to get knocked over, but I might not have any say in the matter.
If I move there, I'm only going to have indirect fire options, which I don't love. I could go for the Banshee some more, but it's in cover now, so it's a less attractive target. And down she goes. Armor breach! Internal damage! That's okay though, she should be able to get right back up, I think. I'm hit! Yeah, that's fine. Yes, Stand up. And uh, you do still have bulwark, so that's something. Well, there you go. So we're not the only one who can knock people over. Really don't want her to be the one in front, though. Can't take many more of those. Like, where are you even damaged? Torso, right? Torso. So you're gonna lose your SRM. Waiting on you, Commander. Most, uh, most probably here. There is no cover that I can put you in, really. Like, we're not gonna win this kind of a firefight. I can't sprint you, so you're gonna have to just suck it up, I guess. Keep going for the Atlas for now. Tell me what to shoot. Well, that helps. I, th some more? Huh? I think we might have killed his AC-20. Really got to get her out of there. Really bad. I'm taking internal damage. Internal structure damage. Mm, boy. Don't have enough turns. Oh, and there goes our arm. I'm losing weapon systems. That's okay. That's the guy I need to kill right there. Reporting internal damage. Okay. Time for you to jump way over. And I'm going to save my potential headshot for myself, I think. Um, she doesn't even have a shot at anybody who's not in cover, which is uh, kind of disappointing. Why don't you just you have your sensor lock, but you're not quite in cover. Why don't you just brace? Hopefully they'll start shooting you instead. Okay. Shoot the Atlas some more, I guess. Made him immediately unsteady, which is good. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. 
Okay, now I can finally get you the hell out of here. Affirmative. I want to shoot my Highlander a little bit, so be it. That would be nice. They're really going for her. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. What can I do for you? Time to fly. Okay, what to do here? Shoot this Atlas. That's good. That's another injury on him. Yeah, critical hit. And he got knocked down again, so that's three injuries. Maybe even. Uh, you could fry an egg in here. Maybe even four injuries now that I think about it. Might. Damage. Might eject her next turn. If she lives that long. They've got a sensor lock on me. Commander, I'm hit. Oh my god. Commander, I've lost all my weapons. They just won't leave her the fuck alone. Actually went heat critical just to do that, that dick. Gonna have to work a little oh. harder now. Damn it. <laughs> that sucks. Very sorry, Mockingbird. I couldn't get you out quite in time. I didn't think that they would Damage all minimal. focus fire you with uh, other targets in front that were closer. So that's that's my guy right there. He's in an 85-ton mech. Is there any way in hell <laughs> that I'm gonna get him? Maybe. Well, first things first. Kill this goddamn Atlas, please. Got him. Thank God. Enemy mech destroyed. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. Okay. Now. Aye, aye. This is uh this is a dangerous game that I'm playing right now. <laughs> well, let's try it. Vigilance. It's a stalker, okay? Precision strike. Go for the head. Primary target damage, commander. Well, you tried. Didn't quite get it, unfortunately. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Alright, Starman. I can jump you to here. And you'll at least be in cover. Um Actually, don't even multi-target, just attack him once. Right, I think I'm just going to get out of here. As soon as uh, we get to go again, I don't think we're going to get to do any more shots on that uh, that one guy. I think we're just going to go. Low. 
AC 20 to the face, not good. And the Stalker's finally coming up. Okay. Standing by. Well, you could melee him. What's your melee damage? 115. DFA of 210. He has been hit in the head once. Hmm. Nope, I think we're gonna go. Gave it your best. Uh yep, withdraw. I'm gonna be able to sell with just one time to pull out. I Let's agree. Get off this rock. So it just immediately happens. I guess I could have gone a little bit farther then, but probably not worth it. Mockingbird's probably dead though. Uh, yeah, well, we tried. We draw with a good faith effort. We did have to kill one person to make that happen. And, uh, Mockingbird. Oh, no, injured 66 days. Well, good for her. Zeus, uh, has <laughs> seen better days, though. We did still get some XP for that. And they're gonna let me get salvage of an atlas for this? Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Not that I deserve it, necessarily. Well, that sucked. <laughs> I guess we'll try another one. Uh, and maybe do better this time. Uh, hopefully. I just didn't see a way to really get around all, all those, um... All those guys. Maybe if I would have beelined it a little sooner instead of trying to fight it out Im immediately. Like, just immediately go for that guy. I rather rather than waste time. Uh, maybe there would have been a chance then for uh, for us to salvage that. You're gonna have to refit and repair this guy. Good lord! Replace the everything. That's gonna cost us five hundred and ten thousand. So we need to put on another SRM four. Right there, we need uh, some more heavy jump jets. Uh, which is fine. Oh, we already have some there. No, we just need one heavy jump jet, my mistake. Um, need a large laser. Which I believe was right there. And uh, another AC-20. We want to go that route. We'll, we'll probably, you know, we're probably not going to use this one again, regardless. So I think we'll just do something like that. And uh, everything should be good to go here, I think. Probably take a few days, 12 days to get that sorted out. So be it. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. All right, we still have enough for, uh, for our financial reports. We don't need to worry about that too much. Just glad Mockingbird didn't actually die, because that would have sucked. Though she is out for quite a while. Uh, well, when we come back, I guess we will... <laughs> we'll see about one of these other contracts and, and uh, cross our fingers that things go a little bit better.